Awamili Kaun takes responsibility for moment's statement, said Presidium member Abdul Rahman. Moment's statement proves the government is in power at the mercy of India, said Fokhrul. Statement was unfortunate, claimed GM Kadir. Installation of rail track on lower deck of what the bridge inaugurated today by the Railways Minister Nurul Islam Shujun. At least 196 fishermen went missing at 16 fishing trawlers capsized in the Bay of Bengal amid inclement weather. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my TV English News. I'm Ashiku Zaman with you in the newsroom today. You are watching the headlines now. The details. Awamilik President member Abdul Rahman today said that the ruling party will not take responsibility for the statement of Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momin, citing that the minister is not a member of the political party. He said this while responding to questions from reporters after attending a discussion program on 15th August at Dhanmundi 32. He noted that the recent statement of the Foreign Minister that the request he requested the Indian government to do whatever is necessary to ensure the continuation of Sheikh Hasina's government is not a statement supported by the Awami League. The recent statement made by the Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momen proves that the incumbent government is still in power at the mercy of India, says BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokhrul Islam Alumgir. The BNP senior leader made the remarks during a human chain program organized by the University Teachers Association of Bangladesh, UTAP, in front of the National Press Club. Dhaka this morning. The demonstration was held to protest against the load shedding, fuel price hike, extrajudicial killings, enforced disappearances, and for the immediate release of BNP chairperson Khalid Azia. Demanding a proper explanation of the foreign minister's controversial statement, he said they have zero connection with the people. The government is planning to implement mega projects but is not doing any project to save the people, says Jatiyo Party Chairman GM Kadir. He said this while exchanging greetings with the Hindu community members on the occasion of John Mashtomi at Japa office in Bonani today. He also said that the foreign minister's statement was unfortunate and his words not only belittle the country but also threaten the country's sovereignty. Installation of rail track on the lower deck of the bridge started today, giving a big boost to the Dhaka Jesso rail project. Railways Minister Nurul Islam Shujan inaugurated the works of Jajira end of the bridge around 12.05 p.m. today. But the bridge rail link project is one of the 10 priority projects of the government. Under this project, a new railway line will be constructed from Dhaka to Jessore. The duration of the project is till 30th June 2024. The tea workers' minimum wage has been increased by Taka 145. With this announcement, the workers are calling off the strike. After the finalization of the new wages on Saturday afternoon, the protesting tea workers called off the strike demanding an increase in wages. The new wages of the tea workers were determined after a meeting at the Sri Mongol Divisional Labor Office. Earlier, from August 13, workers are on indefinite strike in all the meals of Bangladesh. At least 196 fishermen went missing as 16 fishing trawlers capsized in the Bay of Bengal amid inclement weather today. It is raining intermittently in Bhola. According to the latest report, a stormy wind was blowing. The people of the riverine areas, including the lower areas, are in fear. According to the Coast Guard, 16 fishermen trawlers 
have sunk in the river and the Bay of Bengal in the last two days due to the adverse weather conditions. 196 fishermen of these trawlers are missing. Two people were found dead. That's all for now. To watch our news online, please visit YouTube slash MyTV News. To watch our old program, please visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla and Facebook slash MyTV Bangla. Our next news bulletin will be telecast at 7.30 p.m. in Bangla. Stay tuned. Allah Hafiz.